YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Professor Rich. Welcome back to the club channel. Like always, I appreciate everyone who takes the time to watch my content. I'm appreciating all the, the positive DMs I've been getting. I appreciate you guys feeling comfortable enough to ask me for advice for your personal problems, man. And I'm happy I could help you, bro. Always feel free to hit me up on my personal account or on my channel account. I do not care, bro. I will make time to help you guys with your problems, man, or whatever you may be going through. But I'm always going to ask you in the beginning, if you ask me about some woman, bro, woman should be on the bottom, the bottom of the list, bro. You should be working on yourself on a daily basis, trying to become the best version of yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, in every aspect of your life. You know what I mean? You ask me how to get woman. Are you in the gym, bro? But I'm not going to get too wrapped up on the intro. The topic I'm going to be talking about today is there is this common saying that we've been constantly told, happy wife, happy life. And I'm telling you right now, bro, fuck that shit. I'm, I'm starting a new one. Happy G, happy me, man. Because a lot of you guys, and I've been in this position before too, when I wasn't aware you know what I mean? I was putting I was putting women on pedestals. And it's the difference between putting a woman on the pedestal and treating your significant other with love and respect and all that. But what I'm talking about is men who put a woman's happiness over their own. Or a man who puts a woman over his purpose. Or a man who just puts a woman over himself in general. You got to stop doing that, fam. For real. I see a lot of guys get into relationships and they just fall off. That woman is their only focus. They stop going to the gym. They get fat. They get lazy. They fall in love. They lose their physique, man. They lose their their sexual market value. They spend all their money. They, they invest in all their time. But on the back end, they're not even worried about themselves. We got to stop that as men. That is weak, bro. I don't care if you want to call it simping. I don't care if you want to call it beta. I don't care if you just want to call it lame. I'm here to tell you that's lame, bro. And a lot of you guys are... I see it all the time. You letting your significant other or your wife emasculate you. And that is causing you to be unhappy. And you're doing that because you've been told your whole entire life, happy wife, happy life. Nah, bro. We dead in that in 2020, bro. You should not you should not be in a relationship for any length period of time. I don't care if it's two years, I don't care if it's twenty years, and as a man you wake up and you're not happy. Why? Get your get your manhood back. Get your happiness back. Get your dick back, bro. Some of you guys let your woman or your significant other wear your your balls around her neck like a or on a wrist like a tennis bracelet, man. And you scared to scared to stand up for yourself. I see some of y'all. I wouldn't let another man talk to me. How some of you guys let your wives and your significant others talk to you. They just straight disrespect you. They hit you. They play you. They disrespect you. And some of you guys letting your your, your significant other cheat on you and you taking them back. Why? Why, bro? If anything, I talked about this in my Why You Can't Keep a Man or Why You Can't Keep a Woman video. Yo, nothing's wrong with having an alpha partner in your life. If she's a woman, nothing's wrong with that. But you should have some type of control over your relationship, man. I do not care how alpha, how boss, how thorough a woman is, she will always respect the man who can bring value into her life, number one, teach her something, and guide the relationship, bro, and guide her. Some of you guys are just really worried about the basics. Everyone has a dick, bro. What more can you do other than 
give her good sex. And some of you guys are giving her weak sex, bro. What, what else can you do except give her that weak, the weak sex, bro, the weak pipe? What else can you do? You know what I mean? What value are you adding into her life? I made a video about what else can she offer you except pussy. What else can you offer her, bro? Because I know, I know the value I bring in other people's lives. If it's just my energy, my wisdom, uh, my knowledge, my life experience, bro. The way I make uh, that person feel in the moment. Like, there's a, I know I bring a lot to the other person. And you might just be letting a woman emasculate you or take your manhood away from you or do all that just because what's in between her legs. And you have to stop being manipulated by what's in between her legs. You have to start thinking with your real head and not the head of your dick. And I'm telling you this to be honest because these, if you don't come, I got some viewers that are older. I got some viewers that are younger. If you don't come to this realization as early as possible, I got some viewers that are still in high school, still 16, 17, whatever. I'm happy you guys found this channel or any Red Pill channel because... You don't want to be one of these dudes that's 45 and letting your wife talk to you any type of way. Or you getting, you getting married to a woman and, of course, at first, she pretends to be submissive. She reels you in. She lets you think she's in charge. And then just like that, she snatches your balls right in front of your face, bro. Right before your eyes are so quick you don't even see it. I don't want you guys to end up like that because one thing about me, man, I respect women. Don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna always keep. I'm always gonna keep it the bean. If a woman disrespects me, I'm gonna ask her, "Who the fuck are you talking to?" Not I me, mean? straight like that. Because to earn respect, you have to give respect, and I give respect to everyone. I don't care if you hate me. I don't care. Some people that hate me to this day. I'm always going to give you respect because that's me. That's my values and my principles. So if I'm giving you respect and it's not being reciprocated, I'm going to ask you, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? And sometimes that, that began, that began her guts wet, bro. You should be bubbling up. She'd be like, Ooh, I like that. But also some of you guys, I'm going to have to make a video on shit test. Some of you guys don't even know how to pass a shit test, man. And a shit test is, a woman subconsciously, they don't do this on purpose, but I guarantee you every single woman has done this to you before. And woman, if you watch this, I want you to be subconscious when you do it too. It's a, a test pretty much, a subconscious test, or sometimes on purpose, of a woman sizing you up to see how you react as a man, see how you were built. So it it's all different all different it comes in all different shapes forms and sizes man a shit test might be a woman might be talking to you about how much niggas that she gets or how much niggas are that are attracted to her you become you 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 react emotionally like like a woman bro you fail and just like that yeah the respect she has for you just keeps on lowering and lowering and lowering if you, she breaks up with you and you crying for her, chasing her, trying to get her back like a simp, pussy ass nigga. Lowering, 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 lowering. You mate garden, which is the number one most beta trait ever in a relationship. Lowering, 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 lowering. And why are you doing that, bro? She's gaining the power. She's becoming the man in the relationship. And that's how you get to these positions of these grown-ass men letting their woman boss them the fuck around, bro. And nine, nine times out of ten, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. If you let him, your woman boss you the fuck around, first, if she boss you around in life, she boss you around the bedroom, too. And second... She, you not gonna get her wet like, bro. You not gonna. Those naturally alpha men. I'm talking about like the niggas in the movies, like Ghost, fucking 
what's a white dude like fuck i can't think of anyone off the top of my head but like those dudes naturally women are attracted to them i don't know why and you might be that one percent man you might be but if you aren't that bro you losing bro already and you guys think this because you watch a couple of videos of me, AMS, Steph is Cold, MJ Get Right, uh, Dr. Lucario, Book of Dr. BOA, whatever. I know there's tons of channels out there. I've watched I watched a few myself, man. Y'all think this because you watch a couple of videos, you got this instant transformation like that. Bro, it don't work like that. Everything is a process. You have to slow the fuck down. Bro, you've been living and programmed to do things a certain type of way your entire life. You've been the blue pill propaganda, the beta male propaganda your whole entire life, my nigga. You think because you watch a couple 10 minute, two minute videos that you automatically turn into Super Saiyan, you become the fucking man, bro? Hell no! I'm telling you straight up. Hell no, bro. It takes time. It might take years. It's going to take a lot of patience, bro. Because at the end of the day, you have to reprogram how your mind is, like, how you think, bro, and how you deal with women. So, no, nigga. You, y'all tell me, oh, yeah, bro, I've been watching a couple of your videos, bro. I got the red pill mindset down pack. No, you don't, bro. Because I'm making red pill content, and I, I don't even know if I'm fully red pilled yet. Know what I mean? It's a process. You got to slow the fuck down, bro. And look, it's it's been 12 minutes. I got to go to work soon. But remember, bro, you come first. That's what the whole point of this video was. You come first. The happy wife, happy life shit, bro. Nah, nigga. We changing shit up in 2020. Happy G, happy me, man. Put yourself first and don't ever put yourself in a position like I have in the past to put a woman over your purpose, man. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these women are temporary, bro. A lot of these women don't even don't even truly love you. I got a video. You might just be her Tuesday nigga. Might just be her Wednesday nigga. You think she you know how easily replaceable you are as a man to a woman? All they have to do is do this, bro. This, that's it, this. With Instagram, social media, Tinder, all that shit, they can get a new nigga at a swipe, swipe of a fucking button. They always going to have more options than you. So why are you going to put her over your purpose? Because of love, nigga? Because you, you in love, bro? You don't even know what fucking true love is, bro. You've been watching too much movies, man. You think she suck your dick once you in love, bro. You thinking with the wrong head. So that's my video for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my content. Follow my Instagram channel, uh, my Instagram page. DM me, give me video topic requests, man. Share my content to help me grow my channel to my full potential. I appreciate you for watching for real. I keep all my subscribers in my prayers every single day, man. Because we a family, bro. We a community. Follow, uh... My boy Playboy Zay, Playertainment, my boy Red Pill Strategies, Red Pill Lifestyle. Check out my boy Big Savage, Officials Music, my nigga. All that, bro. We got work. We got to help support each other, man. But be the fuck easy. I got to go to work soon. I'm not trying to be late. Peace.